guys, how's it going? It's Hyde uh, here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called Above Snakes, and as you can see here, it is the prologue to the game. The actual game is not available yet. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be available, but I mean, look at the art style of this. Is that a jackalope? Oh my god, there's jackalope. So I'm kind of getting Among Tree vibes from this game, just a little bit. I know it's I know it's not the same art style, but just the cartoony kind of aspect to it. I don't know, but it's a survival game, as you can kind of guess from the back. And I am thinking there's some sort of crafting aspect here, which is kind of cool. So I don't know a whole lot about this game, but it just released the prologue just released. Start a new journey, not available, not available. Okay, so let's hop in here and see what we can get into. Corpse Creek, 1883, a small town in the west of this beautiful country. It was a peaceful evening, but suddenly, oh, I can't click. The darkness of the midnight sky was interrupted by a brilliant green light. The anomaly was followed by a flurry of stones of flame that fell upon the ground. Folks stormed their homes, dazed by the sky, illuminated up above. It didn't take long for the first of the meteors to reach the earth with a massive bang. Those who survived took their loved ones to the graveyard of Corpse Creek. As the bodies lay freshly buried and the local preacher, Noah, gave his last blessing, the ground rumbled. A hand burst from one of the graves, reaching toward the sky. While folks were quick to pull their firearms free, they were unable to fight the loved ones they just buried. <laughs> But they would soon discover that those had arisen were no longer human. Those that had arisen. You, Ayana, have been traveling these lands for a while now. During this night, you were staying for a night at a small lumberjack settlement called Hunter's Rest. The next morning, you wake up. So this is a zombie fighter game? I was not prepared for a zombie fighter game. Okay, so... Ayana, are you awake? Can I take this? Grab backpack. All right, let's take that. What's your backpack? To open your backpack, you can access your backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory, craft items, and access the cooking menu. Note that some items require a special crafting station nearby to be craftable. There's money in here? Take, take, take. What's this? Book? Folks that can read might pay a decent price for it. Two dollars? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie there. How do I... Oh. To rotate, the gate, to rotate the camera to the left, to rotate the camera to the right. Sometimes things can be hard to see from a certain angle. You can zoom and rotate the camera with the right analog stick or Q and E and the scroll wheel. I can't... Oh, I see. Oh, it's set. There's set locations that I can go. Oh, this game is cute! Okay, I'm liking this so far. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Sniffles and weeps. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Uh... Is there anything I can do to help? Wipes the tears from her eyes. Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use all the help we can get. We would need logs to rebuild, even though we have a sawmill over there. I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild these houses. Ask her what she saw last night. Ask her where she's from. Ask her if they have an axe. To get some logs, I need to chop some trees with an axe. Do you have an axe I can borrow? I've been searching for my axe, but I can't, I can't find it among these ruins. Perhaps you can make yourself a strong axe. There's plenty of materials around here to craft one. Okay, it looks like the people need my help. Joanne said I need an axe to chop down some trees. Let's see what's around here to craft an axe. Gather sticks from pine trees. Open your backpack, craft an axe. So I just need sticks from a pine tree. Oh, cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh, search that tree already. Okay, so now it seems weird that I 
can just make an axe only with sticks. Like, I don't even need a rock. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Give me all your sticks. I may as well just keep going. Is there a... I wonder if there's a weight. Is there a weight in this game? It doesn't look like it. It's probably based on stack size then. I would imagine. Number of items and stack size. Search a pine tree. Let's just get a whole bunch of sticks. We're probably going to need more at some point. Can I search this thing? No. All right. So what am I doing? Trying to craft an axe. Craft item. Okay. Now I have an axe. Equip. Gear level. A jolly good feller. That's a joke. Get it? Russell wrestle value oh resell value <laughs> i was like what the heck is a wrestle value um unequip assign one. Oh, i get it okay i can equip it to one okay so with this axe i can i can take down trees to get lumber i wish you could use the scroll wheel like mouse button three to to rotate the camera but you can't that's a little bit too bad. Oh, I should take the twigs out of this tree before I chop it down. Oh, we're getting feathers as well. We can make some arrows probably. Okay, now we can chop it down. Oh, and there's levels for wood chopping and stuff. That's cool. Guys, I'm really liking this game. So far, so good. Rocks are another useful resource for building. I can make a pickaxe and smash some rocks around here. Of course. Let's do that. There we go. And it's equipped to two, which is perfect. Oh, yeah. I actually am loving this one. The The art style is so good. The graphics are smooth. The gameplay is nice. So far, so good. I'm liking this. We're going to have to see how it goes. But uh, so far, I am liking it. Why am I sneaking? How do I... How do I stop sneaking? Or can you only sneak with a... With a weapon drawn? I don't actually know what's going on there. I'm just gonna chop down one more tree before we go talk to her. And then we'll... See how much logs she wants. I'm assuming she wants more than two. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, I got a critical strike. Is that the backward swing one like that? I think it is. No, we're kind of stuck on this little island. I can't... I don't know what that's all about. How did we get here? Talk to Joanne. All right, time to get started. Wouldn't you say? The sawmill was only set up to saw lumber, plus it's unusable in its current state anyway. So I'll have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. But first, oh my, how can I forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. My mind really is a mush these days. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house to free up some space. And later you can adjust the house if you need to. Hammer. Hammer time. Get plant fibers. I, whoop, I messed up. Where do I get plant fibers from? From here? Maybe? Oh, look at that. We got some plant fibers. Okay. Now, make a hammer. What's this? A flint? I feel like that should be called an arrowhead or something, right? Why is it called a flint? I need one more plant fiber. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Give me those. We can make a hammer. Adjusting structures with hammer. You the, use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or ones you build yourself. Uh, take down. What is that green mush that was inside that building? Can I take this building down too? Wait, is this building... Cancel. Can I go in here? To start building, I need to make a workbench. Some plants around here should get me the fiber I need. Can I go in this building? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I should be able to just make that, right? I I have enough. Hardly. Okay, how do I 
put this down somewhere. Where do I want to put this? Just in front of my house? That's not bad. The workbench. F to interact with the workbench. With your workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, and both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials. I cleaned up the mess that the meteor... Oh, that was a meteor in there. Okay, I cleaned up the mess that the meteor created. Time to build a new home for Joanne. There's more lumber at the old sawmill. Uh, is that this? Can I just take this? I don't think so. Can I break this? I also don't think so. That's weird. What, what does it, what does she mean? There's lumber at the old sawmill. Can I just pick up this? Oh. Wait. Is this just unlimited lumber? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Hammer. How do I build? Craft at least four foundations at the workbench. Uh, that will probably help. Workbench. The tutorial is actually really good on this one. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Usually it's like, I don't know what to do and it's not telling me, but this one's pretty good. Also, I'm a little slow sometimes, so just bear with me. So four foundations, let's plunk them down. Oop. Shelter and perks. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. That's fun. Fatigue. Is that this? Fatigue increases when walking or harvesting. It can be restored by resting, standing still, or warming up. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's kind of fun. So, now what? Build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay, so we're gonna need some walls. I feel like I'm gonna need... Uh, is there a door one? Yeah, we're gonna need one of these. I don't have enough lumber. We need more wood need more wood oh I can research this tree perfect give me twigs and feathers please and then why can't I hit this thing there we go oh yeah level six axes so oh wow the trees actually wreck the logs when they fall on them that's pretty cool I'm wondering if, like, is this actually the edge of the world? Or is it just only showing me a piece of it for now? It seems kind of small. And how did we even get up here? <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. There's not even a dock or anything. Like, was there a helipad? What's going on? I don't understand. Attack increased. Okay, let's take this last little bit of wood. Hopefully that's enough to finish. There's not enough trees on this little island and I haven't found any seeds from what I could tell. So we got one of those. Is this a window? Okay, let's... It's the same amount of wood. So let's put a window. Maybe we could put like four windows. One on each wall. And then what do we need? Three more of these to finish. And then we've got at least a starter house. So let's see here. Door. Where do I want the door? Let's just put it there. Window. 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 The building is pretty good. I'm liking the building. It's nice and snappy. Not all bugged out. Did I put stuff on the right way though? I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, now we just need roof. Log roof flat. Log roof. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough wood still. What the heck? My poor stamina. 
I don't have a fire yet, so we can't rest by the fire. I might just have to, like, hang out. Is this... I don't see anywhere where it tells me the time. So I wonder if the time is actually progressing or if the tutorial is just always daytime or if there even maybe there is no nighttime in this game who even knows i was not expecting this game to be a survival like a zombie survival game but i'm not against it we're gonna need a little bit more fiber as well which is annoying never mind found some let's kill these and then that should be all it takes to finish I hope. Once we've got a house, I mean, it's just a little modest house for now. We can make it better later. So, make a roof real quick. We need four of these, I believe. Hopefully, hopefully that works. We'll have to see. Okay, and then I just, can I rotate this? Rotate. There we go. That's cute. Let's go in. I'll be right back. Can I go in here? Very nice. Okay, so we've got a cute little house. Let's go talk to Joanne. Select a perk at your workbench? Wow, look at that home. Great work, Ayana. There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though. I just realized that that person lying over there is still breathing. Oh, no. <laughs> He inhaled the smoke of the meteors last night and fainted. Later, some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked on him and was certain he was not breathing anymore. But maybe there is still hope for him. Do you know what to do? Uh... I have never provided mental care. Bandages should help stop the bleeding. Maybe there's still some left in the clutter in the old sawmill. Oh, the trees grew back. There is a wound. I thought that was a zombie. <laughs> I thought that was a dead zombie. There's a wounded person lying in the hunter's rest. He still seems to be alive. I should search for some bandages. Can I go in here now? Or do I have to go in there? As if you get fatigue from just walking. Oh my god. There's a person in here. Hello? Hmm. Hey there, how did you sleep? Tell him you slept fine. I slept fine. And you? That's good, I guess. My night wasn't as good as yours. The sound and green lights kept me awake. <laughs> like there, like there was something outside. And have you seen this place? It's ruined. It used to be so cozy in here with everyone. Okay, what's on here? Books? I'll take those. Yoink, yoink. And sell them for two dollars a piece why not is this a book i can take yeah it is what else is in here can i take whale lantern yoink some free money yoink bandages that's what we came here for pick up old candle holder <laughs> ah. okay i'm gonna fill my pocket up with random stuff is that a gun that's a gun up there. I can't get it, though. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, look at free money. All right, let's go bandage this guy up. Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Put that axe away. Put it away. I can't use it right now. Heal wounded person. There we go. <laughs> it's just bleeding out of the face. Oh, my God. Oh, no. He turned into one of these things. It is a zombie. I knew it. Be careful. They are extremely aggressive. Oh, no. To perform a dodge roll. Performing dodge rolls will help you during your fights. These lines are full of dangers, especially at nighttime. Okay, so there is nighttime. Such as wildlife or the lost souls that are roaming around since the plague. Be careful. Uh, can I attack him with an axe? Or how does this work? Oh, ow! Okay, so the range is actually pretty far. I used my only bandage on that guy. Bones. 
new blueprint bone axe hell yeah i don't know how that's better than my steel axe here that i actually made out of just sticks but i will take it that poor guy i think that people who inhaled the smoke of the meteors are turning into those monstrosities it's so horrible you look pale are you okay tell her you're okay i'm okay just a little hungry from all that work and fighting we should have some food around. The surroundings of Hunter's Rest will have berry bushes plenty as well. Why don't you use this map and search for some berries to snack? Hands over a map. Hard work and fighting has made me hungry. I should go and find some berry bushes and eat a bite. Place a plains world piece? Huh? Eat some berries. Place a planes oh my gosh is this a tile based game to create a world peace the world of snakes the world of above snakes consists of world pieces each piece has its own biome and contains the various resources some world pieces are unique while others can appear multiple times wait so we're building the world map as we go Oh, oh, that is cool. Oh, I like that. I can't build any of these, though. Why can't I build them? Why won't it let me? That's weird. Edit world, close map. It won't let me. Place a planes world piece. I don't understand. Oh, make a world piece. Oh, we have to make them? Wait, we can also get perks. Fortification. Fortifies your shelter. Your maximum health increased by 10. Whetstone. Sharpen your weapons. Your melee damage is increased by 3. Your maximum fatigue and maximum sanity increases by 15. Huh cool okay let's do the damage one i feel like damage is pretty good i don't know what my current damage is or even the fatigue one's pretty let's do that let's do the fatigue one so now how do i make decorative plant where's the thing about making tiles Place a plane's work piece. Make a world piece. Oh, C. I see. Select world piece. Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. I love this game. <laughs> this game is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is so awesome. Let's take these huckleberries. To create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings first. Your scouting progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up scouting to three world pieces, but scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. Uh, where does it tell me the number of pieces I have? I don't see it. Maybe it's because I don't have any right now. Oh, it's this thing. I see. So I guess we just get it. We get scouting perks by just doing stuff on the tile. It seems to be going up just just because. Can I eat the berries? Consumables? Uh-oh. Alright. It seems to be twilight time now. Oh, it actually... Berries give you hunger and thirst. What's going on? Don't starve. Return to Joanne. I can't... It won't let me interact with anything anymore. I guess the the time of the day. Does this give me exploration points as well? Looks like it does. Okay, well, that's good. Can I still not search these berries? No, it won't let me. Okay, so we're not searching berries anymore. Sheath tool is F. Now, I don't know what the skill increase does. It Does it increase the damage that I do with the weapons? Oh, we got some flint. 
Okay. I just want to finish searching so that we can make another tile. A new world piece is ready. Hell yeah. Uh oh. What's this? What is this? Why can't I pick it up? What? I can't. It won't let me. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Exploring and interacting makes you fatigued over time. Make sure to get some rest by standing by a fire or even better, getting sleep. You can craft beds in which you can sleep during nighttime, which restores your health and fatigue. Be careful if you don't get sleep, you will suffer from sleep deprivation. I still can't pick this up. So I guess we can just go to bed. Can I pick this stuff up? No, I can't do anything right now. I, my interact keys are broken. Yeah, I can't interact with things. What? Can I interact with this? Uh-oh. We broke it. Return to Joanne. Maybe it doesn't want me to do anything until I talk to Joanne, but she's not even here. What happens if I make a new tile? Now is it better? No! I just want to interact with stuff. Is there a save? Oh my gosh, I can't even escape. Uh-oh. I super broke it. I super broke it. What did I do? This, there's no menu? Uh-oh. Well, rip. This might be the end of it. Oh, I was having so much fun, too, but I can't do anything now, and I can't even... Well, I can try to relog. I don't know if there was autosaves or not, but I have to Alt F4 for this game because it, there's no menu. <laughs> oh, no, where did the guy go? Everybody's left me, and my interaction button doesn't work. No! Okay, I'm going to Alt F4. For, we're going to see what we can do here. Okay, well, I'm able to interact with things again. Oh, that's better. Ayana, I am deeply sorry. I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I can do is to leave the cabin to you. You built it, after all. They said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creek. They reported meteors falling down there, too. Horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. If you can talk to them, maybe that will bring some light into the dark. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard that there is a camp nearby. To get more information about what happened, I need to see if there are any survivors. Hunter's Rest has left behind all of the survivors. The remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer and take down the remaining two buildings to make your place your own. No! I don't want to take down this building. Take down the old sawmill. Take down the small house. Well, I guess if we have to. Do I get resources for this at least? I don't even think I do. I want to make sure there's nothing else in this house. I haven't checked it fully yet. Inspect. Hunter's rest. There's another gun. I should probably use this bed before I break it. At least it's warm and dry here. This is perhaps the only place now in Hunter's Rest where that is the case. I can't sleep here? Can I sleep here? I don't know if I can even use these beds. Okay. Well then, let's just break it down. Break it down. Take it down. Rip it down. Awesome. Can I take this too? Remove workbench? I don't really want that in the middle of my building anymore. Congratulations on making your first shelter on Hunter's Rest. You can keep it and use it for your survival or take it down and build it up anywhere else. That is completely up to you. Oh, so we can move. There's no reason to even stay here. This land is full of mysteries to explore, but before I can go exploring, I need to make a cartography table to work on my map. 
Okay, let's build this thing back here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's just stick that down. That's not bad. That is not bad. And then I think... Oh, actually, I can make... I want to make a little platform under the front of this thing. Just because. Uh, foundation. We have two logs left. May as well use them. Why do I only have two logs? I just tore down all that stuff. Also, what happened to the logs I was gathering yesterday? I just don't have any. I just don't have any. I can make a bone axe though. We haven't done that yet. Bone axe. Where is it? Ink. Oh, we're going to need that. I have no huckleberries either. Oh, there it is. Bone axe. I only have one bone and no rope. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this is so cool. I love this game. I'm in love with it. I love it so much. Okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode right there. I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you.